Here's the setup for painting my Pinewood Derby car. This is uh, this is the this is the car cut out from a piece of uh, block of wood. These kits run about four dollars. This one I actually uh, picked up at Ebbets Model Shop in Santa Monica, and this one was actually carved, uh, pre-carved by a guy named Luke down there. Did an awesome job. Really, really unique. I'm sure, it took him a lot of time, but uh, he saved me some time by doing it. But uh, himself, and uh, I could get to the demonstration here of painting it and uh, and putting it together. I've also I brought some sandpaper to kind of refine it a little bit more, clean it up a bit more, and uh, some painter's tape. Thinking about doing a stripe or a line, that's what you need. And I've got the Testers Aztec paint here. I've got the paint gun right here and the kit. More paint if needed and the tester's air compressor. I'll turn it on for you. We'll fire it up. There's no paint in here, but as you can see here, here's the adjustment. Doesn't make much noise at all. This here is the uh, adjustment in the back. do a quick demo with the paint too. minutes we've got this Pinewood Pinewood Derby car painted using just a tiny little bit of paint so it went on so really nice and easy and it should be dry real quick here. I think it turned out great. This stand helped a lot. And a photo of the paint gun here. Paint I sorry I got a little messy there but I love this thing. We've got our pine car painted went with a real flashy red here. Did just one coat for now. We'll add on a couple more later, but uh, went really easy. Set up this uh, do-it-yourself uh, paint stand, which actually worked awesome. And as you can see, for me to get under here, I actually could lift it up, get the corners, get the edges really nice, and also you could spin it. It just works perfect. And our uh, test doors, 
paint gun. It's awesome. Just cleaned it up. You gotta take off the tip, uh, pull out the needle. I did a real good job cleaning it. I know that with any paint, paint gun, air gun, you need to make sure that you remove all that excess paint out of there so the next time it's ready to go.